Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Faith. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. I am starting off highly disappointed because this is the second time I've recorded this. At first I was using a new Lavalier microphone and it did not work on my Nikon 5300. If any of you are, you know, tech buffs out there and you can let me know how to, how to work that thing, that would be fantastic. I appreciate it so much. So today we are going to talk about the number one piece of equipment that I recommend you to either have in your home gym or implement into your workout routine. And if I'm looking down, it's because I'm looking at my computer where my notes are. So <laughs> excuse that. Now, just a little bit about that number one piece of equipment. So this is going to build up your endurance, build up your strength. Get in your cardio, get in your lifting, building muscle, leaning you out. It's doing all of that with one piece of equipment. So what is this piece of equipment, you ask? It's a kettlebell. It's a kettlebell. Y'all know I love my kettlebells. If you have not seen them, I will link my kettlebell tutorials somewhere up here. <laughs> Cat, go, go, go. I'm really disappointed about my microphone. Moving on. So. This small, compact piece of equipment originated from Russia, okay? And I will put up a, a photo here of like an old photograph that I found of where they were using kettlebells in the Olympics. And I remember they would use kettlebells like not in the circus necessarily, but I think it was in the circus, but like with performers and stuff would use the kettlebells, which I think is so cool that these things go back that far. And, you know, it's kind of like they disappeared on us for a second. And now I feel like they're coming back a little bit more. I love kettlebells, like far beyond cardio, far beyond weightlifting with dumbbells. I love, 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 love kettlebells and a couple of things so as I mentioned they do build strength they also build up your speed um, and your endurance they fix any kind of misalignments that's happening in your body because when you're utilizing a kettlebell it focuses a lot on unilateral work more often than not you're doing unilateral work where you're working one side of your body at a time and the other side is basically it's working too but it's trying to like stabilize and balance while you're strengthening and you're working on your other side so it's really cool for that um, I did a lot of kettlebells when I had my wrist surgery. I would work on my left side and my right side was still working even though it wasn't actually holding the weight because, you know, wrist surgery. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and then it does challenge, because of the gravity of the bell, the way that it's designed, it really challenges your balance in a way that dumbbells do not because dumbbells are, you know, the weight is evenly distributed from one end to another, whereas your double, your dumbbell, or excuse me, your kettlebell, all the weight is at the bottom. So you're really being challenged when you're lifting that bell up because it's trying to drag you back down. So that's really cool. Um, I want to talk about a few dangers within utilizing the kettlebell as with everything when it comes to exercise. Of course, there are risks involved and I highly encourage you to talk to a fitness professional, talk to your doctor before, you know, you get into this. First off, and I talk to it, I talk about it in our kettlebell tutorials that I've started doing, but I want to point out, sorry, my dog's like playing. I want to point out that if you're brand new to exercise, I don't recommend you starting with a kettlebell. Um, if I were still a personal trainer, I would not take my clients through that first. You always want to start with doing a workout body weight first. 
if you are brand new to exercise and you progress through body weight workouts, I would suggest you start with a dumbbell before you move into doing kettlebell exercises because they do require a certain amount of flexibility and balance to already be kind of established um, just to perform them safely. Kettlebells are high impact. They put a lot of stress on your knee joints, your hips, um, especially your lower back. I see people use kettlebells so wrong, so wrong, and they end up locking out, they overextend their back, especially when they're doing a swing. One thing that I would recommend you do is to video yourself or work out in front of a mirror. And that's with anything, whether you're doing floor exercises or you're doing dumbbell exercises, I always recommend, sorry, there's somebody outside my window and I don't know what they're doing. They're, they're struggling this morning. <laughs> um, but I would always recommend that you work out in front of a mirror so that you can see yourself as you go and record yourself, whether it's on your phone, on a camera. That way you can look back at that and reevaluate. I do want to point out if something hurts, there's a difference between a movement making you sore, challenging you, and something just hurting, and you need to be in tune with your body enough to understand the difference so that you protect yourself. <laughs> My dog is so weird, y'all. Um, and as far as like ways to stay safe and kind of try to offset those risks, you know, I do recommend you, again, monitoring your form. That's going to be your number one thing to do is to monitor your form. And that's typically done through watching yourself in a mirror or videoing yourself. It's also extremely important that you keep your core tight, especially when most movements, the kettlebell works your core so, so much. People don't realize how much it really focuses on your core and to stabilize you. So keep your core tight. That's also going to protect your lower back. And like I said, don't lock out, don't overextend your body. Another thing is breathe. Okay, so you're exhaling on the work, you're breathing, it's going to tighten up your, uh, your body so that your form is held properly. And like I mentioned, when you're doing anything, you know, start with body weight, mimic the movement, utilizing body weight, and then you can start to add in a light kettlebell, a heavier kettlebell, and progress from there. You don't want to dive right in head first because you're going to hurt yourself going to hurt yourself. So definitely stay safe. If you guys have any questions, I am more than welcome to share my knowledge. Otherwise, I recommend you talking to your fitness professional and seeing if this is something that would be good to implement into your exercise routine. I can almost certainly guarantee you that you will see incredible results when you start utilizing a kettlebell over a dumbbell in all areas of your workouts. Um, like I said, your flexibility, your balance, all of that's improved as well as your strength and endurance. So it's doing a lot for you at once. Please, please, please like and subscribe to my channel. Share this content if you found it helpful for you and comment below with any questions. If you are a tech professional, send me a message because I need to understand how to hook up my microphone. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.